Hi, this is the earliest history of the Mandela Effect, the topic and what people said when it was first discovered around 2009 and shortly after that. I'm Fiona Brome. I created the first Mandela Effect web page that popularized the phrase. Looking back at the past 14 or so years, I smile. This has been an unexpected adventure. At times, yeah, it was stressful. I wasn't prepared for the topic's popularity. If I could turn back the clock, I'd handle the deluge of attention very differently. Nevertheless, I'm grateful for this experience and the many great people I've met through the website. We shared the same mix of skepticism and starry-eyed enthusiasm for what-if questions. Any one of us could have started the Mandela Effect website. I just happened to be in the right place at the right time with the right background. See, for most of my adult life, I've been interested in subjects that other people consider odd. Most of those topics are related to history or science or both in some ways. That's how my past primary focus, ghost research, led me to other anomalies. One of those anomalies was the Mandela Effect. See. I thought Nelson Mandela had died in prison. I thought I remembered it clearly, complete with news clips of his funeral, the mourning in South Africa, some rioting in the cities, and that heartfelt speech by his widow. But then I found out he was still alive. My reaction was sensible. Oh, I must have misunderstood something on the news. I didn't think about it again for many years until in the VIP suite at DragonCon, Shadow, a top member of the event's security team, casually mentioned that others also remembered that Nelson Mandela had died in prison. <laughs> that got my attention in a hurry. One thing led to another, and then, starting in 2009, my Mandela Effect website connected a large community of people who remembered the same Mandela history as I do. But that's not all. Others have similar, but different, false memories. And yeah, I'm putting false in quotation marks there. One of the earliest conversations was about the death of the Reverend Billy Graham. Like Mandela, Graham was also alive at the time. Some claimed that people were confused and they recalled Graham's retirement announcement or perhaps the televised funeral of his wife. Those who vividly recall the funeral coverage, like me, strongly disagree. The Reverend Billy Graham died February 2018, long after his funeral was discussed on the Mandela Effect website. However, it's not just deaths. People have described a variety of odd conflicts between their vivid memories and the world they're currently living in. One of the earliest of those was an odd Star Trek episode. During DragonCon 2010, a conference attendee insisted that he remembered a Star Trek episode that, according to one of the show's stars, was never even filmed. The conference guest who remembered that alternate episode, he wasn't weird or wild-eyed or anything like that. He was a very normal person, and he only referenced the episode as part of a routine conversation. But I was there when he heard that the episode never existed. He was stunned and quickly tried to find a logical explanation for his faulty memory. Robert Beltran was also part of that conversation because that alternate memory involved his character, Chakotay. I referenced that and went into more detail in my YouTube video about what to do if your memories are different from others. However, that was one of several quirky alternate Star Trek memories that fans and viewers recall. And shortly after that, the Mandela Effect attracted even more attention. The big turning point was around 2013-2014. That's when people discovered that there were no Berenstein Bear Books, and no Star Wars movie included the line, Luke, I am your father. The Mandela Effect went viral. These aren't simple errors in memory. People recall them clearly often with astonishing details, exceeding the normal range of forgetfulness. Even stranger, other people seem to have identical memories. In the next video, I'll share more details about how this all started. I'm Fiona Broom, and this has been part of an audiobook series based on my 2023 book about the early days of the Mandela Effect website. You can read that book and other books documenting the earliest reliable conversations about the Mandela Effect in Kindle 
and in printed books available at Amazon, other booksellers, and through your public library. Thanks for listening.